After the return of Amr son of Umayyah to Mecca, there was another incident waiting for this great companion. Abu Bara' Amr son of Malik came to the Messenger of Allah to make a request. O oh Muhammad, if you send men of your companions to the people of Najd and invite them to your command, they might answer you. The Prophet peace be upon him had offered Abu Barat to convert into Islam before, but he did not, but he also didn't refuse, and the Messenger of Allah answered him, I fear for them from the people of Najd. I am an acquaintance of them, so do not fear anything. The Prophet then sent 40 men to Najd, led by Al Mundir bin Amr. Look, we are now in people of Mauna Well, and it is in the middle between people of Amir, land, and people of Salim. Let's camp here a little. Peace, Peace and mercy of God. God! Peace, Peace and, and mercy of God. God! We will wait a little before. What is that? Who are you? The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, has been informed about what happened to people of Ma'una delegation. He grieved with great sorrow and mourned them, saying, Your companions have been killed. And they have asked their Lord, saying, O oh, our Lord, inform our brothers about us, as we are pleased with you, and you are pleased with us. And after Amr, son of Umayyah, became aware of the companions that were killed, he killed two men from people of Amr, unaware that there was a covenant between them and the Prophet. Me too. I won't leave this land until I avenge the Muslim martyrs. When the Prophet knew about what Amr son of Umayyah had done, his greatness is once again is shown. As despite his sadness over what happened to his companions at the hand of people of Amr, he was also sad in regards to what Amr son of Umayyah had done and started preparing to pay the blood money for the two men who got killed. The Messenger of Allah said, I have a treaty with people of Amr, and I would never violate my treaties, so we have to pay the blood money. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, suggested to go to the people of Al-Nadir and ask them for their help in paying paying the blood money because they have a covenant with people of Amr. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him asked people of al nadir to support him in paying the blood money for the two men who were killed by Amr son of Umayyah. O oh, Abu Qasim, we will be with you and we will support you. We are people of Al Nadir. Never violate an agreement and support whoever needs our help. Rest assured, O Abba Al Qasim. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, left after making a covenant with people of Al Nadir to support him. As per usual for the Jews, they are known for backstabbing and deceiving. So when they found the Prophet resting near a house of people of Al Nadir, they planned to kill him. I can't believe that killing Muhammad will be easy, just like this. Wow to us, if the rock misses Muhammad. How would it miss? It will fall directly on his head and get rid of him forever. At that moment, the Prophet got the news from the heaven, so he quickly stood up and got away with his companions. What is this? Muhammad just got away! What? He stayed at this place for a long time and now he leaves? The companions got angry and went to the Prophet asking for permission to fight people of Al-Nadir. So the Prophet calmed them down and told them that Allah has saved him from people of Al-Nadir's betrayal. And as a consequence of their betrayal, he would tell them that he doesn't want them by his side as they are traitors and they aren't trustworthy. A wise decision, O Messenger of Allah. After the assassination attempt by people of Al Nadir on the Prophet's life, he ordered them to leave their homes, and when they have received the news. It happened just as we have expected. Muhammad declared war on us and ordered us to leave our homes. Neither Muhammad nor anyone will dare to get us out of our homes. Fighting Muhammad is beyond our ability. 
then Abdullah son of Salul came to people of Al Nadir to support them against the Prophet. People of Al Nadir mocked the Prophet and refused his order to leave. ألم تر إلى الذين نافقوا يقولون لإخوانهم الذين كفروا من أهل الكتاب لئن أخرجتم لنخرجن معكم ولا نطيع فيكم أحدا أبدا وإن قوتلتم لننصرنكم والله يشهد إنهم لكاذبون لئن أخرجوا لا يخرجون معهم ولئن قوتلوا لا ينصرونهم ولئن نصروهم ليولن الأدبار ثم لا ينصرون لأنتم أشد رهبة في صدورهم من الله ذلك بأنهم قوم لا يفقهون So he gathered his companions to besiege people of al -Nadir. The kindness and humanity of the Messenger of Allah appeared and advises to his companions, do not kill the elderly, children, or women, not to invade any house, just lay siege unto the Jews, just lay siege until the Jews of people of al -Nadir surrender to the Messenger of Allah and to the Muslims. There is no God, Allah, Muhammad, Muhammad is the messenger, the messenger of Allah. The Muslims army besieged people of Al-Nadir for six days and the Islam was victorious once again. The Jews of people of Al-Nadir surrendered to the Messenger of Allah and to the Muslims army and went to Khaybar and other places. The Messenger of Allah then imposed the word of Islam against betrayal and disloyalty. One of the miracles that happened at the hand of the Prophet was when Abu Talha came to the Prophet with some bread to eat it, which was all that he had at home. So the Prophet along with his companions went to Abu Talha's house. The Messenger of Allah has invited his friends to eat at your house. O oh, Um Sulaim, O oh, Um Sulaim, the Messenger of Allah is on his way. And he is more than welcome to come in. The Messenger of Allah is coming and we don't have anything to feed them. Allah and his Messenger knows more about what is in our house than us, O oh, Abu Talha. The Messenger of Allah came to Abu Talha's home, then told Um Sulaim to bring all the food he has. He then held the bread with his honored hand and brought it to his mouth. The Messenger of Allah is saying something. Yes, he is blessing the food. Then he poured some butter upon the bread and said, By the name of Allah, then he ordered Abu Talha to let the men enter ten by ten. As you wish, O Messenger of Allah. Abu Talha listened to the Messenger's order and prepared a place for ten men while he was astonished. Abu Talha, look, the bread is not decreasing. They are eating by the blessing of our honorable messenger. Yes, Um Sulaim, it is not our food, but it is food that came from Allah. <laughs>